Yo, people of YouTube's Black Friday has passed, and I figured I'd make a video on my Black Friday pickups. Now, this year, uh, my brother and I decided to go to Walmart. Um, there, I tried getting WW13 for 25 bucks. Um, unfortunately, there were a lot of people that actually wanted video games because I think um, among the list of cheap video games this year was. 2K13 or NBA 2K13, I think Madden this year, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and the only one that I wanted was WWE13. And the how they how Walmart did this did this was that there was a section away from the, the electronics and gaming section, like within the store, it was more towards the clothing section that was like barricaded off. And what they would do, they had it had a line, and then they would have five people go in and then they had a limit of five items that they can grab and they had 20 seconds each and when I got there I was actually at the back of the line well obviously you're at the back of the line when you get there but then I was at because it kind of wrapped around so here's the section I was here it wrapped around so by the time I got there uh, they were already gone so I didn't get that so but then I had to wait like two more hours because uh, Walmart opened at 8 um, it was about 9 o'clock, no, I don't want to say 9 o'clock, but like 8.45, met up with my cousin, um, it was 9 o'clock, but then we had to wait until after 10 because my brother wanted to get um, terabyte drives, to ship a terabyte drives for I think 60 bucks, and he got 4 of them, and then we had to wait again for um, the line to pay, and that took a while, so we got out at like 10.30 I think, maybe. So I was there for two and a half hours without what I wanted and just waited for my brother to get what he wanted, which you know he, he did. And then after that we went to Best Buy and Best Buy was the best spot of of Black Friday for me personally because I got a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs. So I'll be showing that to you guys. So first uh Rest of Development. All three seasons. One, two, and three. Actually um, on the ad, they only said season three was on sale for $7.99, and then I checked the kiosk and looked for for the rest of the Arrested Developments, and it said that all three seasons were for $7.99, so I picked all three of those up. And actually, I actually wanted to pick these up for the longest time, but then the retail price is actually $20.99. I'm like, ah, $20.99 for old seasons. So when they finally said that there was $7.99, picked them up, easy grab. Next is. Taken with Liam Nielsen. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, Liam Nielsen. This two disc extended cut, which we actually watched yesterday, uh, $7.99. Another easy steal. Snow White and the Huntsman. Retail price $19.99. Picked it up $7.99. And this is the extended edition. We watched that too. Extended edition yesterday. Another steal. Pulp Fiction. Oh no. Pulp Fiction, retail price $19.99, picked it up $3.99, yes. Lorax 3D, retail price $29.99, picked it up $14.99. Uh, I mean it's 3D, 3D is expensive, so $14.99, another steal. Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadow, Sherlock Holmes 2, retail price $24.99, picked it up for $3.99, but here's the thing. Um, when I went up to the register, he rang up as $9.99. I'm like, well, hold up, wait a minute. Because I was watching, when the guy rang up the prices, I was watching the prices to make sure that I was paying the price that they were advertised. So when he rang up $9.99, I was like, hold up, wait a minute. It said $3.99 on your shelf, so you're trying to sell it to me for $9.99. So I'm like, ah. So the guy's like, uh, I can't really leave you know, my spot because there's not enough people to watch, um, you know, the cashiers, which which is reasonable, so I kind of had to wait for another guy to show up, or the 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 cashier had to wait for another guy to show up, because uh, he couldn't go out and call them. So another guy showed up and he asked me to follow him so that I can show him the the price. So I, sh I went to the shelf, showed them, said three ninety nine, Blu-ray, Sherlock Holmes two, three ninety nine. So this was actually three ninety nine. But then I later checked online that there was actually two versions. Of Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, the regular edition, which is this is the combo pack, Blu-ray, DVD, Ultraviolet. The regular edition, I guess, just had the Blu-ray, and the 
that edition was the 399 but the ones that Best Buy put out at that advertised section were only the extended version, their combo pack. So I pretty much stole this for 399 so yeah. Hunger Games, never watched it. Um, heard it's like Battle Royale, but then heard that it's also not like Battle Royale, just kind of same concepts here and there. I've never watched it, $24.99. Picked it up, $8.99. Another steal. Alright. Superman Triple Pack, Superman 1, Superman 2, The Richard Donner Cut, and Superman Returns. Ring up $19.99. Same, same deal with the uh, Sherlock Holmes. I had to show the guy that it was actually $9.99. So, yeah, $7.99, pay $9.99. Same with Austin Powers Trilogy. I've always actually wanted to get the trilogy on Blu ray, as good or bad as the series may have been. I have always wanted to pick it up. So, retail price $19.99, picked it up $9.99. Another steal. Smallville Season 10, final season. Retail price $44.99 on sale $9.99. And this actually completes my whole Smallville collection because I've actually bought the previous season all also for $9.99 over the years at, during Black Friday. I think the first eight seasons I got in one pickup I think two years ago or no three years ago then last year or two years ago with season 9 um, last year for season 10 this wasn't on sale yet or actually it wasn't even out by the time Black Friday came around so I had to wait for this year to get this so it's only DVD, they had the Blu-ray for $14.99, but I decided to wait, just get the DVDs just to you know complete the collection. So now I have all uh, 10 seasons for practically hundred bucks. Yes, I never I've been wanting I've been wanting this too. Also, community. Uh, $29.99 retail, $9.99 pickup, and this I, I've waited for this since it came out this year. I forget when, but this marks three years in a row that I've gotten the community seasons during Black Friday. I think two years in a row, uh, season one and season two, um, back to back, were sold for $12.99. So I was kind of surprised that this was sold for $9.99. But that finally completes my uh, community DVD collection for now until season four rolls out, which NBC is dumb. It was supposed to premiere in October, but they push it back to February, and now apparently Chevy Chase is leaving the series. So I'm like, ah. There goes six seasons of the movie, but hopefully they continue the series. Uh, but what's funny about this is that uh, the TV show, the, the DVDs, these are the ones that I actually wanted to get. Well, the movies, when I saw them, like, oh, they're all under ten bucks. Might as well get it. Like, yeah. So I, I picked up the Blu-ray movies just because, but these I actually wanted. So, but overall, it's a steal. And later on, my brother actually went okay here's what here's the thing Walmart first Walmart didn't have WW13 the second Walmart I went to the Chula Vista one didn't have WW13 later on in the day I went to the National City Walmart where I went to the gaming section oh when you go to the Walmart you have the shelf the shelf of games there was games and then a single open spot that said WW13 so that was gone and then my brother actually went to the Mission Valley uh, Walmart where he actually found WW13 so I told him to immediately pick it up because it was 25 bucks so now I have the game and he actually found this in the dumped section or actually not the dump section but then the carts where people just dump stuff away so when he brought it home I realized why it was in the dump section because it doesn't have the Mike Tyson DLC which I don't really care about because it's just Mike Tyson so um, hey 20 WW PS3 recent game I think it's been out for a little over a month 25 bucks steal and my brother also picked these up safe with Jason Statham I don't know why I don't know if it's good or not but he picked it up at Best Buy while we got while I got the other DVDs and Blu-rays $7.99 and he also picked up Brave for Walmart for $8.69 safe was $22.99 retail Brave was uh, $24.96 retail sold it for $8.96 so Overall, really good year on Blu-rays and DVDs. For me personally, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch it all. Well, actually, funny story. Smallville, when I first got seasons one through eight, I actually went on like a two-month marathon. Started in December, finished it about February, and that was like midway into season nine. 
um, caught up to season nine. I yeah, I finished all eight seasons on uh, DVD in like two three months, and then caught up. Had, I had to wait now to finish the season, uh, the current season, which is nine, uh, and then wait until the series finished. So yeah, that was all the pickups. Uh, I think I calculated it was I. It would have been 340 retail price, but spent only 120 or something like that. I forget. Uh, but I had like gift cards for my birthday and Christmas from last year, so I only brought it down. So I only paid like 80 something for my pocket, and also bought like CDRs, which is 10 bucks. So I only paid 84 for my pocket, and then the rest was all discounts and gift cards. So yeah, that was my Black Friday. And if you guys picked anything up, leave it in the comments. See ya!